Pooja, over to you. I think you're right at the forefront of this uh, digital evolution. Uh, that's the core business that you're in. And uh, while you are doing campaigns for clients, I'm also sure that you are mentoring clients to uh, kind of progress on this journey towards new age branding. So I would love to hear from you on this. Thank you, guys. And it's, it's good to be here. Um, for me, this is the best time to be a brand. It's the best time to be a marketer. And it's, a, it's the best time to be a creator. Um, and for me, data and technology and creativity are allies of each other. When And if we use them well, we can have breakthrough, um, create breakthrough brand love and relevance. And, uh, you know, all of the marketing matrix that every brand manager has. It's the best time for creativity today. And I say that because, you know, it's no longer just about that beautiful film that someone would write and would go on TV, right? It's no longer about that. Today, a tweet is great creativity and can just immediately push what you think about a brand, the sentiment about a brand. An app notification can and can do that. Uh, one Instagram post, like Gunjan said, can do that. But the importance of it and the core job that people like us have is to string it all together so that it is, we're, we're speaking the same you know, the, a brand stands for something, but their social profile and their digital profile is different. It's almost like how you're with your friends and how you're in a meeting, right? The, your fabric of what you believe in doesn't move away, but you, you interact in a completely different way. And today, it's no longer about a monologue. It's about a dialogue. And if a brand can incite that, that's when you have won. And um, that's what data allows you to do. Even the biggest brands like Apple and Lego, some of the examples that you guys made, it, it's data and listening is central to what they do. Um, right from the beginning, why does Apple operate in the world of creativity? Because when they launched, that was the that was the biggest gap that was available. All of the technology products were targeted only to professionals, and they have really built that over the years by being culturally very very sound, by being extremely authentic, and never losing. Uh, you know, what they started off doing. So if you look at, you know, even, even brands like Netflix, the ones that we handle, uh, constantly listening to what consumers are saying, using that data to power a creative director's mind and building out strong creative strategies, that's the biggest superpower we have today. And if we use it well, um, you, you can win every day. And, and that's the power. And we've democratized.